Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi libra this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd and your first card is the princess of pentacles so the princess of pentacles in other decks would be the page of pentacles and she will be bringing you news this could be of anything that is uh, material and that's touchable and that is durable and for long term it could be about a job it could be about your uh, that you've bought a house or that you've got your mortgage anything like that or it could be a message from a Virgo or a Capricorn Capricorn is the predominant one here but don't exclude Virgo or Taurus now so you will be getting news something that is tangible and touchable and material or you could be meeting one of the earth signs then we you have the 18 of Lenaman. okay and that is the dog you might get uh, news from a friend a trust and loyal friend luck is on your side as that is what the dog card means or you might get another perspective on a friend and find out that they are awesome they're loyal and trustworthy that you hadn't anticipated something is coming to an end because 18 becomes a 9 and you go and then when there is an ending there is a new beginning and you've got the 10 of hearts you might even get a news a love news <laughs> because of the hearts that's what's just come in that's the cartomancy side of the card so you'll be out no, good news anyway because you'll be ultimately happy the ten of um, hearts is the ten of cups happy families perhaps reunion with family and friends perhaps they're sending you a message I'm going to come round I'm, I've got holiday can I come and stay with you <laughs> that would be awesome especially in the situation that we find ourselves with the lockdown etc then you've got the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles skill you are being recognized for some kind of skill or talent so recognition is yours this could mean that you might get promoted or you might go up to the next level in your work or you might have just passed your exams and you're going on to a new study to perfection your talents you've got the Sun lying on that and you started off with the page of Pentacles the princess of Pentacles so wow you might be um, aiming to specialize so it will bring in more money and you're getting the news that you've been accepted to on on the college or university and then you've got the Sun so you are in the spotlight you might be meeting a Leo perhaps a Leo is giving you recognition perhaps that could be a new passion a new love as Leo represents the Sun the Sun also represents that you're in the spotlight again recognition something is also being illuminated you need more information with regards perhaps the news will give you clarity and more information to your question or situation at hand the ground is very fertile at the moment so if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions whether you're woman or man you might hear of a pregnancy and a pregnancy could be uh, of a child or could be of a new project a new job a new house 
the next level up in a relationship or a friendship. Perhaps a friendship, like I said, you might, uh, your uh, perspective on a friendship might even change. So it might become um, a relationship going up the next step. Because the sun also means going up to the next level from getting going out, becoming uh, a, par uh, a couple, or from being engaged to getting married. This also means promotions. And you've got the Ace of Diamonds, which is the Ace of Pentacle. So the Ace of Pentacle means money, new beginnings, perhaps financially, a new house, or living together, or buying a house together, a new job. Like I said, you've got pregnancy, perhaps a new person in the family, you're extending the family, perhaps that's your next step up from being married to getting pregnant, making a family. Awesome, new beginnings. And you've got 31, so that means four, and something is being, being built on proper foundations. That is number four, and it has durability and tangible and for long term. On Friday, you have the Ace of Cups. Love, new love, new passion. Something that you're nurturing. Perhaps this new beginning will be a baby, like I said, and you'll be mother. You'll be nurturing your pregnancy. Or this could be a new love with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Then we have the road, crossroads, and the crossroads means decisions and choices. You might even have ch more choices than one, as you've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, that is Virgo, so you might even meet a Virgo. But don't exclude Taurus or Capricorn. You might have choices, more than one. Perhaps it could be, shall we get married, or shall we move in together, or shall we get move in together and then get married? Things like that. So make that choice. You've got an angel number here, again a four. Two, two and two is four, so you've got two fours, which is uh, also an angel number. The angels are here and have your back. Four and four is also eight, so you are in your power. And money, the money house and the power house. And like I said, with the ace of uh, pentacles, the diamonds, money is coming in. That is for durability. You've got recognition. And you've got the lovers. So I think this is not only a romance reading, but also a general reading that life is improving generally, financially and materially. That could be a Gemini you're meeting here. And we do have the Queen of Pentacles and now we have the Queen of Hearts and Pregnancy moving home. A 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or with in a question. And here you've got number 8. 1 and 7 is 8. Again, the power house, the money house. So you might be buying a house together. You have lots and lots of choices. Wow. This is also hearing of a birth. This could be of a child, or this could be of a job, or a new relationship. Especially because it's lying on the lovers. Now we're going to the Avalonian uh, card, and you have Moon of Purification, Moon 11, so that's the 11th month. Okay, now there's lots of different cards in here, but basically it is saying um, uh, you've got the love and lovers, so the time is pure and positive with the sun and with the love and lovers and the ace of hearts to uh, join or have a new union. Wow. 
sorry I've got the card the wrong way and you've got moon of purification goddess Brian moon first full moon when Sun is in Virgo full moon in Pisces season early autumn so you might be getting married or making choices to get married early autumn and the herb with this card is wild thyme I'm going to put that down because I'm going to read from the book the key words for this card is patience with self and others inner strength well like I said you are in your strength and you have endured patience to get to where you want to be whether weathering injustice well you're definitely in balance so I think you have endured quite perhaps somebody might have um, said something in the past and that was unjust and not right and that's why your perspective might be changing on your friend accepting what cannot be changed courage to meet any challenge endurance in the face of the suffering grace under pressure transitions transitions to new partnerships perhaps now the definition of this card it's got also it's got a, a description of how this card in the pagans developed and the myth and I'm going to go to the definition although the challenges of the moment seem insurmountable they are transitory nothing lasts forever seek out the resources available to you that will assist you through the difficult times delve deep into your personal reserves and ask what you need from those around you and do not forget to seek comfort and guidance from the goddesses remember that you are never truly alone you need to you need but ask and see she will help you bear any burden focus upon the changes that can be made and begin to lay down plans for what will come after the present situation has run its course while the present is immutable we can build a foundation for the future if we do not like the circumstances of the here and now we must look for ways to bring the future we desire into being well that is what you've done you've looked you've worked and now you're getting recognized now you're being recognized by more people and positively so you you are making your present change and you have a new future as much as we may wish it otherwise the only way out of a difficult situation is through <coughs> it it must be experienced that's true there will be a 360 degrees turn round you've gone through it and you've talked perhaps to the person concerned and now there is a, a better understanding and a turnaround and learn from so that we may emerge on the other side of it having gained wisdom and first hand knowledge of our strengths and weaknesses work to see life's challenges for the gifts they are they permit us to grow, encourage us to change and invite us to see our lives and our world in an entirely new way. It is easy to be caught up in the pain of the moment, to ruminate on the injustice of it all and to wallow in self-pity. Give yourself space to grief and to honor your feelings 
that is, you've worked through all that and now the beauty is going to come but there is still some choices do you not allow yourself to fall victim to the circumstances let go of what was acknowledge what is and become an active co-creator for what can be have faith and trust that you are on the right path whatever choice you want or make or which path you take wow and then we've got a card from TLC and it says in the name of love so I think this is must be an extra love reading instead of a general reading okay Virgo your sacred calling leaves the impression of your soul on those you come across recognition it isn't just what that matters but also very important is the spirit in which you do each task for instance are you doing what makes you sing it is fallacy to think that you have to suffer for your vocation your soul longs to express your individual genius and to leave a handprint of divinity on this life stretch beyond what you previously thought was possible open your heart to the plans that divine has for you usually usually revealed to you through your intuition follow your extra sensory perception your intuition your gut feelings new ideas new dreams wholeheartedly to the healing places where dreams manifest isn't that beautiful and that is exactly perhaps how you might feel you have been over bridging a gap from going into the dark into the lights you've waited but you're not there yet you've got choices to make so wait don't make choices too hastily because you'll have to repent in leisure but the gateway is open to beautiful new love a new job a new home something will become clear to you definitely but you do need to do the research because the Sun is a spotlight which also illuminates a situation or a situ a situation at hand okay I hope you've enjoyed that Libra take care God bless and I hope to see you in life and please share and like and stay safe thank you